Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Frank Scully who is the co-founder and CEO of BioDigital, which created the first 3D human visualization platform. It's been called the Google Map of the Human Body. Tell us a bit more about your background and what led you to starting BioDigital. Like many people, I started in pre-med. I was fascinated with, with medicine. I then ended up finding that I, was, um, I really loved to build things. So I ended up doing my graduate work primarily in biomedical engineering. Um, when I completed that work, it was really the inception of the uh, of the internet boom. Uh, and then the bubble burst, and I still had that passion for medicine, so I wanted to find a way to fuse technology and medicine. Um, at that same time, I met my now co-founder, John, and we saw the emergence of 3D tech, really the profound impact it was having on industries like video games and movies. Uh, where it revolutionized those industries in a matter of years. And we knew that the way people understood and learn about the human body really hadn't changed in centuries, and that the same technology could have a similar profound impact. Our audience is primarily young trainees and healthcare professionals. Do you have any advice for them as they're uh, kind of finishing up their training or even in many cases beginning their training? I don't think there's a better time to enter healthcare because these are the people that are going to be ushering in these medical advancements that, you know, things that the world has never seen before, right? And you, and you look at cancer treatments and gene therapies and precision medicine and robotic surgery. Uh, I, I think in 30 years, we're going to look back at the way people were treated in the 20th century as, or, as, as medieval. Um, now, with the, that, those unprecedented advancements and this rapid change of technology, uh, learning is going to become even more important, right? Because I think I, I saw a stat that in the next two years, we're going to create more health information that was ever created in all of history. So how do you consume that information, have that foundational level of knowledge, but then stay on top of the updates, that lifelong learning week to week, month to month? You're going to have to rely on technology to enable some of that. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.